Good morning on this Tuesday, the 20th of August. I'm Christina Bueno. Ross has a day off. We begin with breaking news out of Kailua, where HFD crews are battling a house fire. They're actually right now talking in a news conference, so let's go back to Kailua for that. Yes. Hey, Christine, we're here in Kailua. I'm giving you just a quick interview right now with Captain Sigaran with HFD. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. So go ahead and tell us a little bit and what we know so far. This fire broke out a little before uh, 5 a.m. this morning, and we do know that this was a family home and a two-story home. What can you tell us? So at 4.55, we responded to a two-story single-family home. Uh, upon our arrival at 5.04, our units found the second floor uh, fully involved in fire. Um, we sent a total of nine units, 34 personnel to this incident. There was a, a total of four occupants in the home at the time of the fire. A fifth occupant had already left for work early, earlier. And our firefighters were able to get the fire under control at 536 and then extinguished at 634. Now, we were told that the occupants were alerted to the fire by neighbors, uh, either knocking on the door, pounding on the wall to get their attention, let them know that the second story was, was burning. And all four occupants were able to get out safely. And you were telling us earlier that two people uh, were treated for injuries, and those were neighbors who suffered from the smoke in this area. But you mentioned that this home had smoke detectors, but it wasn't able to alarm the residents there. It took a neighbor nearby. Tell me, how did this add to the situation? Okay, so if you're not notified that the fire is actually occurring, you're not going to be able to get out. They were sleeping at the time. So even more so, you're susceptible to losing time. You may dream and justify some kind of reason why there's smoke or fire in the area and that can lead to disaster so by all means we want you to have your smoke alarms working and they were not alerted to the fire by the smoke alarms that were in their home and really quickly um did you get a chance to speak with the family what was their reaction you know from when the neighbor woke them up to the fire happening to actually seeing their home just damaged and destroyed you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very uh, chaotic situation, and it, it, it seemed like they just were thankful that no one was hurt. Um, you know, based on the circumstances, too, that your alarms don't go off or they didn't activate or you didn't hear them, whatever, the, whatever it was. Um, that's definitely trying, but just to, just to know that your, your family's out safe, they were very relieved. And, you know, this family had smoke detectors in their home. Um, what can people do differently on checking these smoke detectors and making sure they work in case if this were to happen again to someone else in a different area? You, you want to make sure that your detector is working. You, you can have 10 detectors in your home, but if the batteries are not in there, they're not working, it doesn't matter. So you have to make sure you test your detector every month. If you can upgrade your detector to a, a better one, maybe a 10-year battery, um, something like that. But when you go to the store, don't just look for the cheapest one. Look for what's going to actually help you. And everyone knows their situation, so by all means, use get the best detector that's going to help your family get out. Soon. And really quickly, do we know the cause of the fire? Nope, that's way too early. Any suspicious activity that was kind of in this area before the neighbor found out the home was on fire? Nothing was reported for that. Okay, well, thank you so much, Captain, for giving us the details so far. Like I mentioned, we're still receiving developments about this house fire that took place before 5 a.m. this morning on Kailua Street. As of right now, Kupau Street is being monitored by HPD. So if you happen to have anyone in this area, if you live in this area, you just want to be aware of the road closures taking place at this moment. If there are any details or updates, we will keep you posted on our website at khon2.com or in our later newscast. Reporting from Kailua, Dallas Navarro, singing back to you with more.